In this tutorial, we will be texture painting our gaming chair. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to model it from scratch. So the link to this tutorial is going to be in the description. So now we're going to be learning how to unwrap it and texture paint it from scratch. All right, so let's get down to it. Before doing that, we need to unwrap all the components that we got in our chair, starting from by this section, the top. So first I'd like to divide this window into two parts. You can click here and drag, left click like this and I'd like to switch this window into the UV editor. So before we can continue, I'd like to combine, for example, the bottom, this base with the top. So shift, select them both, control J. So now they are one unit. And also I'd like to exclude these handles. So on the edit mode, press Alt A to deselect everything. We can just select using the L key, select these parts like this, and we can press B, separate selection. All right, so now we got just a simple chair. All right, so with this one selected, I'd like to apply both the mirror modifier. So you can go here, apply the mirror, and also I'd like to apply the subdivision modifier. All right, so now we're good. So what I'd like to do right now is to unwrap. So what I'd like to do right now is to unwrap our objects. Before doing that, we need to mark some seams. So think of seams as cutting our objects. So I'm gonna just press, for example, Alt, click here to select that entire row like this. I'm gonna press Control E, and we can mark seam here. So as you can see that this scene is highlighted in red. All right, you can select this object, press U and unwrap. And as you can see, we got it unwrapped here, but it's not unwrapped correctly. So we need to check why is that. Uh, so basically what I'd like to do is to add another loop here. We need to mark a seam here so that we can have an excellent count. We can switch here to the wireframe and let me grab, for example, this edge, this line that we got here, control E and let's mark seams. Excellent. So now let's select this object by pressing L and let's press U and unwrap. Awesome. So now our chair is unwrapped. We got the front side, which is this one, and we got the back side, this guy over here. So what I'd like to do is to straighten them up. All right. So I'd like to spin around this part of our chair. So R and we can type 90 degree and let me just organize it a little bit, put it over here. Same thing for this one here. I can just select it by pressing L and let's spin it to straighten up like this. All right, amazing. All right, so let's go back, control space, and let's add the other components. For example, we got the pillows. So I'm gonna just also do the same thing. I'm gonna mark the seam right here at the middle. So we can press Alt, T, Control, E, mark seam, select the entire object by pressing L, press U, and unwrap. All right, so we got it unwrapped, divided into two parts. I'm gonna just move it outside because on the inside we got the chair. Got the chair here. All right, for the other elements, we got the bottom, this one over here. We got it unwrapped here, but I prefer to do my own unwrapping. So I'm gonna just press Alt here, Control E, mark seam, select the entire object, press U and unwrap. All right, so we got it divided into two parts again. I'm gonna just move it to the left side. And now for the bottom, the bottom, this, I'm gonna press, for example, Alt here, switch to the wireframe, and I'm gonna try Control E, mark seam, Let's press Z, switch back to the solid, select the entire unit, press U and unwrap, and let's check if it's gonna be unwrapped. Yeah, it looks much more better. All right, so I'm gonna just take these to the side here. And the last object is this object that we got here. I'm gonna just add, so press Alt and left click over here, Control E, and let's mark seam. We can select the entire object, press U and unwrap. All right, so we got it unwrapped as well. I'll just move it down. All right, so now let's select everything and I'd like to organize all the objects. So the top one and the side, these are the pillows. So I'm gonna just scale them down because they are not, they are just minor. I'm gonna just scale them down, put them for example here. So for example, for these, this is the base, the base of our chair. So here I want you to maximize the UV space. So basically we can keep scaling up all the UVs to make them perfectly fit that UV space. All right, so our chair right now is unwrapped. So the next step is to start texturing it. So I'm gonna just exit edit mode here and I'd like to go to the material properties here and I'd like to add a new material. I'd like to call it leather material. So in this section, I'd like to divide this window into two parts. So the bottom section is gonna be divided for the shader editor. So I'm gonna press N to hide that panel, scroll a little bit up. So right now, if we press Z and switch to the material preview, and if we try to play a little bit with the base color, like as you can see, we're going to be updating the color of the chair. So instead of doing this, I'd like to bring my own leather texture. Let me just show you. 
this leather chuck saw, I'm gonna simply drag and drop it, put it over here, gonna find it in the resources along with the other chuck saw, and I'm gonna simply connect it to the base color. So immediately you're gonna see the leather applied to our chair, but the problem with this leather is that the scale of the leather is really huge. So what you need to do is to scale up the image chuck saw so that you can make it small here. So the display of these units these leather units must be really small. So to do that, I'm gonna be adding two nodes, so control space to maximize this window. I'm gonna be adding first the mapping node, so shift A, let's search for mapping. I'm gonna simply connect the vector to the vector here, and what I'd like to add is the texture coordinates. So shift A, search for coordinates, texture coordinates, and I'd like to connect the UVs to the vector, and the vector to the vector. So we're gonna be affecting the, the, the UVs of our image texture. So control space, let's go back and I'd like to increase the scale here. We can select them both because otherwise if we just select one axis and scale it, for example, to five, can I see that our leather is going to be stretched? So we don't want that. So actually what we need to do is to scale it on both X and Y. All right. So as you can see, the leather looks fine. Maybe we can increase, for example, the scale to 7.5. All right. Have small units and basically that's it. It looks pretty much good. All right, so next what I'd like to do is to make the leather a little bit realistic. Right now, as you can see, it looks flat and boring. So I'd like to add the bumps. So shift A, let's add a bump node. And I'd like to bring, let me just maximize this window, control space, let's maximize it. I'd like to drag these nodes backward here and connect the color to the height, to the height, not to the normal, and the normal here to the normal on the right side. All right, control space, go back and let's check. So now we have the illusion of height, but it's really strong. So what you need to do is to reduce the bump strength to something like 0.2. Press enter. All right, probably 0 0.25, 0.25. All right, so now it's looking better. Next, I'd like to work a little bit on the roughness. So let's add the color ramp. So shift A, let's add the color ramp node, right? This one, and I'd like to connect again, this uh, leather texture to the color ramp and the color here to the roughness. All right, so nothing is happening. So if we try, for example, to play with these handles, I'm gonna simply switch them. If we try to switch them sideways. So I'm gonna just hide this base color. And I'd like to set it to just black so that we can see that, that roughness uh, in play. So for example here, let me just try to move this one side, something like this something like this, but also for this black, I don't want it to be black because black means uh, glossy and white means rough. So I'd like to reduce the blackness, make it a little bit less black. So check this out. If we make it completely white, our material is gonna be 100% rough. So I'm gonna just go with something like this. Now as you can see, our material looks awesome. It looks realistic, it has bumps and it has some nice reflection on it. Awesome. All right, so let's start texture painting our chair. So instead of using this base color texture, this one, I'm gonna be using my own. So shift A here, let's add an image texture and I'm gonna connect the color to the color. But here I'd like to set, I'm gonna be adding a new and let's set, let's for example, call this image texture chair texture. I'm gonna just divide it with a slash, with a dash. And here I'd like to set it to a 4K image texture. So I'm gonna just multiply by four. Same thing here on the height, so let's multiply it by 4. Press enter, and let's click on OK here. So now we got our image texture. So you can check it from here, it's going to be completely black. So that's why we're having this black color. All right, so let's jump into the texture paint, and let's start painting our chair. So I'd like to bring the reference that we're going to be using. First we got, I'm going to be using this, uh, let me just show you the render. Render that I put as a test, this render number 2. I'm going to simply drag and drop it right here on the bottom. All right, so let's start painting our chair. First, what I like to do is to switch into the material preview. So press Z, switch to the material preview so that we can see the leather material. So the next thing to do is to change the color of our uh, brush. So you can click here and simply use this eyedropper. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just pick the color of Blender. So now it's we got the orange color. If we start painting, so let me just check. We're not seeing anything. We we got it on the backside. So this is one of the most confusing. Uh, parts in texture painting. Let me just show you the problem. So if you paint here, you're gonna see it on the background. But if you paint on the back, you're gonna see that on the front. So that's really confusing. So the solution for this problem is the normals. So you need to check the normals first. Let me just show you. I'm gonna just control Z to reverse back. And if you go, for example, here to this panel, let me just check the name of it. Show 
overlays you can click here and go to the let me find it the face orientation you can check this face orientation so you can see the problem that we got so everything looks uh, blue except the chair chair looks red meaning that the normals here are flipped so the faces are flipped so what you need to do is to convert or to flip the normals only for the top of the chair so what you need to do that let's press alt a to deselect everything select only the red parts by pressing l and i'm gonna go to mesh normals and recalculate outside flip it you can also flip it so you might not have this problem but in case you're painting here and seeing it on the back so you need to flip the normals all right so i'm gonna just uncheck that this uh, face orientation and now we're good to go so we got that color of the brush i'm gonna press one we can zoom in a little bit and start brushing with that nice color awesome so if you zoom here a little bit you can see the path that i created it looks pretty much good so for example, it's starting from here. You can make that turn like this and go like this. But I don't want to paint on the pillows. So let me just reverse back. So to, the way to exclude the pillows is by doing this. So on the edit mode, I'm gonna be making sure to select only the object that I want to paint, which is this one. You can press L again. So exit the tab mode and I want you to check this mask, uh, paint mask. So click on it. So now everything that, there is, that is not uh, selected in edit mode it's gonna be highlighted in gray like this, meaning that you can't paint here, except, but you, you can paint here. That's a good thing to know. All right, so let me just reverse back and I'm gonna press one and start from here. So I'm gonna press Z, switch to the wireframe. Actually, it's not visible. Basically, I'd like to hide this panel. The, I'd like to hide the, this pillow, but that's fine. We can just roll with this. So another problem that we got, which is the edges. So the edges are not well defined. I want to have some strong edges like this. So actually there is a lot of ways to do to do this. In my case, I'm gonna just go and increase the strength of our brush to 10. And let's check this out again. So now as you can see, we have some strong edges. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and start painting the top. So basically I'm gonna just, let me press F to reduce the size of that brush. You can go like this, continue that turn. Go on the bottom. So here it's a little bit, there is some wobbling. I'd like to maximize the window, so control space to maximize this window, control Z, and we can start fresh. Also, I think I'm gonna be using the stabilize stroke. So here on the stroke, let me just use the stabilize stroke. So it's gonna help us to go really smooth, like this. All right, so that, now it's looking, it's looking fine. But also what I'd like to do is to add the symmetrical effect so we can do that here, I'm gonna press N, jump into the tools, scroll down into the symmetry, and we can check which axis we got. So right now we're working on the X axis. So I'm gonna just set the symmetrical on the X axis. All right, so here I'm gonna try Control Z to reverse back and let's start fresh. And let's go for it. Pretty much good. All right, so we got that. Gonna just go all the way to the bottom. Okay, excellent. All right, here, let's fill that space. So now let's work on the base of our chair, this bottom section that we got here. So first I'm gonna be adding, let me just go to the side here gonna, by pressing three, and we can just create some nice edge like this. All right, it's going down. Here it's hard to see because uh, the handle is blocking us. I'm gonna press F to increase this brush and let's continue filling everything here. All right, let's put it on the top. Pretty much good. All right, so let's work on the middle section, this part here that we got. So I'm gonna jump on the edit mode and I'm gonna only select this part. So we can zoom in a little bit, let me just jump back into the object mode, or the solid mode, gonna press Alt and keep selecting these edges like this. Same thing here. And let's continue our selection only for the right side like this. All right, so after that, I'm gonna exit the edit mode and let's paint on it in a really easy way. But actually we don't have the symmetrical. Let me check. Yeah, actually we got the symmetrical, but it's not working. So actually what I'd like you to do is to select them both. So let's do that manually. 
over here you can keep selecting all these faces all right excellent jump back on the paint mode and let's paint the rest just like this all right so let's go back into the layout so that we can check our texturing and it looks pretty much good i'm really i really like this final result we got the texturing on the but here we got some problems on the back so let me just go back to here to the texture paint you can for example jump on the back let me just try control one jump on the back and let's paint here on the back i'm gonna press control one to go to the back and let's start painting some nice shape all right so basically it's looking pretty much good let me jump back into the layout and let's take a look at our final result it looks pretty much interesting so now i'd like to do is to add i like to add that ticket that blender ticket so to do that let me just go back here to the texture paint and i like to change the type for first we need to bring this texture let me just go here to the texture properties and i'd like to create a new texture and i'm gonna just open that texture all right so this is it you're gonna find it in the resources so double click on it and here for the brush we need to change some settings let me just i'm gonna be just scrolling on the top here and i'd like to go to this tab texture tab and i, I want you to choose that texture from here so right now we're going to be able to see that texture once we hover on the viewport so i'm going to just right click so that we can move it and like to drag it here on the top i'm going to just zoom here on the top you can also press shift and right click so that you can scale it up or down you can just scale it a little bit like this so i'd like to fix the scale of our texture so here i'd like to increase for example the y to 1.5 and let's give it a check looks much more better right now so i'm going to just go here with two on the y something like this so shift to right click to scale that even up like this and let's go ahead and start painting but you can see the problem we still got that symmetrical uh, effect so what i'd like to do is to press n and i'd like to remove that symmetrical so i'm going to just go here to the symmetry and remove the x-axis all right so let's just go ahead and start painting and it's gonna look fabulous all right so let me just go back to the layout and let's take a look at our chair it looks fantastic you can also texture paint the, these pillows and add the logo just as it is right now so you can work on them a little bit add more details to make them look much more interesting 